Hi there, Eve here from Vitamin Eve Nutrition Counseling. Before I get started, I just want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so yet, I invite you to subscribe. I love all of your comments and feedback. It really is such a pleasure to interact and to hear how you're using these tips. And so today, what I want to talk about is the day after Thanksgiving. You see, this year I wasn't called to make a video about Thanksgiving, but I'm really motivated to talk about the day after Thanksgiving because that day is interesting as well. Because, you know, you can reflect, how did your Thanksgiving go? You know, you're, now it's happened. Here in the US, Thanksgiving was yesterday, and now it's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, where we have, you know, typically a very big meal. How did it go for you? Were you able to eat, to savor your food, to enjoy it? and to eat just the right amount and still feel comfortable in your body? Or if you didn't, if you ended up eating too much, were you able to forgive yourself and move on? You see, part of healthy, happy, normal eating is sometimes overeating as well. So if that happened, were you able to enjoy your meal and savor it and still feel full and be okay with that and forgive yourself? Or did, did you do what I used to do and what many of my clients used to do, which is punish you know oftentimes when people get too full they get so mad at themselves that they end up punishing themselves and the punishment is usually not letting themselves eat the next day or skipping meals the next day or trying to fast is that you or it's interesting oftentimes those very same people who get so mad that they overate are also the ones interestingly who throw in the towel you know, they might get so mad at themselves that they tell themselves, now that I overate on Thanksgiving, forget it. I blew it. And you know what? The holidays are around the corner. So, you know, I'm just going to let it go. Are you one of those people? You know, so many people I know between now, well, actually between Halloween and uh, the new year becomes one food fest, which is fine if you feel comfortable, if that's something you enjoy doing. But a lot of them do it with a heavy, a sad heart feeling like at the beginning of the year, they have to reel it back in and fix everything. And sadly, without realizing, that actually causes even more food obsession. It causes even more overeating because it's making what you're doing wrong and bad. So if this is you, my heart is out there to you. And what about the day after Thanksgiving? What about the, the leftovers? What do you do with the leftovers? And this is such an interesting question because you see, for some people, it feels really nice to take leftovers home you know, to have some of the goodness of the day before at home, whether it's the pie, the turkey, or both, or all of the above, could feel really good to have some more the next day and the day after and the day after sometimes, right? However, for other people, taking leftovers home could feel really triggering because now there's all of this food in the house, oftentimes more than they've had in a while or different types of foods that they don't usually have at home. And this could really cause a lot of stress for people. You know, because then they're thinking about the food that's in the refrigerator. It may cause even more overeating the next day and the day after and the day after. On the other hand, for others, not taking any food home at all could be triggering because it could feel like deprivation. And if you've been following me, you know what I share about deprivation, whether being deprived or just feeling deprived could actually trigger food obsession. It could trigger overeating and craving, right? So knowing how to handle the leftovers is a really important skill and it varies person to person and where they are in their food journey. And if you could resonate with anything I'm sharing, I'm talking to you and I want to offer a special gift this time of year. And if you haven't had a call with me, send me a message, send me a private message, go to my website. I'll send a link in the description so you could send me a private message. If you want to talk about what's going on with food. I mean, there are more holidays coming around the corner. You know, there are always holidays again. The year is cyclical, cyclical, and the, the holidays will come again and again and again and again. And I want to help you be prepared. I want you to be in a place where the holidays are just the holidays where food doesn't have to overtake your experience of getting together with family or friends, or even if you were alone this year. How did that affect your Thanksgiving? For those of you out there who didn't have anybody to celebrate with, how did that affect your food? So there's so much here to address, to talk about. So if you've never had a session with me, I invite you to send me a message and we could schedule that. 
So it's free, it's totally complimentary, and it's an hour of my time where we could get together and really create a plan for you moving forward. So I hope this message was a message of hope and a faith that you can have a wonderful, easy, joyful relationship with food that doesn't consume you, pardon the pun, pun, that actually energizes you, makes you feel good, and is a welcome part of your life. So if this was helpful, please let me know what stood out about this message. And I love, as you know, I love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so yet, I invite you to subscribe so you get these messages regularly. So I want to thank you all for watching and have a great day. Happy eating, everybody. Bye.